Mabuhay and aloha. This is Sarah May Fabio Hardy and welcome to my channel. Charot. <laughs> this video is for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Especially um, to the three awesome moms in my married life. My mom, Dr. Regina Fabia. Hi, Mama. Um, my mother-in-law, um, Mom Heather. And my husband's birth mom, Mom Dina. During the quarantine, I have a goal, or I have many goals, and one of my goals is to acquire or improve a skill, and I decided that that would be painting. I'm a beginner, and throughout my life, maybe I, I painted just twice, um, but thank you for my husband for assisting me fulfill these projects. Um, he, my husband is an artist, and a good one. Like... I didn't know before that how good he is like I mean I knew that he could paint but I didn't know how good he is but we could reserve that for another video explaining all of his artworks they are so good so anyways um so for painting I have three projects dedicated for the three awesome influential strong women that I've mentioned earlier and yeah, so I'm a beginner. There will be a lot of flaws, so sorry. Um, English is my third language as well, so you will notice a lot of errors with my grammar, but hopefully you will understand me. So let me introduce you the art projects that I did. Project number one, I call this Modernung Duyan. Modernung Duyan are Tagalog words that mean modern hammock. So here it is. So this is the modern hammock, and there is a lady laying there. That's me, by the way. Back in the Philippines when I was a baby, parents have native hammocks for babies. I know it is modern now, but I think some families still have this since Philippines is a developing country. Um, these hammocks are very useful because they help parents put their baby to sleep. Um, but it's also very tiring because parents have to physically or manually swing the the hammock um, my mom used to tell me that of all of her children i am the hardest one because whenever they stop swinging my hammock i would cry like hard and so i would whenever i'm in the hammock i'm very grateful that my mom was so patient with me she still is and i'm grateful for everything she did and she does for me um, the other point in this painting are the coconut trees. In the Philippines, we have this folklore called Paglilihi. Um, this happens during the first trimester of pregnancy. And um, during this time, pregnant a pregnant woman would crave something. And whatever she craves for, that will resemble the child whenever they give birth. So, um, my mom craved for coconuts when I was, when she was pregnant with me, and that's why a lot of people tell me that I have fair skin compared to other Filipinos because coconut meat is white, but I think it's the genes because <laughs> my parents are both fair. So I was I was fair, maybe not anymore because I do sunbathing a lot now. So. Yeah, so that's the second point. And the third point is the sunset. So I chose sunset as the background because it's easier to paint the rest in black. Joke, but jokes are half meant. Anyways, I chose sunset because when I was growing up, sunset means my parents will be home soon. So they work a lot, like especially my mom. She's super workaholic. Um, but when it's sunset, that means that I get to see her soon. I get to see her and spend the night with her and have dinner with with her, my fa my parents and my family. So that's my um, artwork number one, Modernong Duyan. The next two artworks are for my husband's moms. Yes, moms. Um, my husband is adopted, so he has two moms. He has um, the adopted mom, eh, mom Heather, and the birth mom, mom Dina. And my husband is very lucky because he was able to know, meet his 
birth parents and he has a good relationship with both of them and their families artwork number two is for my mother-in-law mom hardy um this artwork i chose a funny one because i love hearing her laugh especially if she laugh at my jokes so i call this reading book to grand pets so mom heather all of her children she has two all of her children are married now but she doesn't have any grandchildren yet but her daughter liza liza and her husband mason they have two french bulldogs and that's azzy and chloe my husband and i we have um, a pet fish um it's a male beta fish but we name it after a woman shahrazad there you go and so my mother-in-law she loves reading books she could read 100 to 150 books every year so just in case you are wondering if there's a real hermione yes there is in real life that's my mother-in-law um don't worry mom maybe next mother's day you will have your first grandchild i will give you a lot of cute grandchildren happy mother's day thank you for everything you do for us Project number three is for my husband's birth mom, Mom Dina. Um, this is probably my favorite one because it is simple and I had practice with the previous projects. So yeah, I call this one, Serve the World. So here is a female chef and serving the world. Um, my mom Dina, she loves vintage women in pinups. So that's why I decided this one. Um, I call this one serve the world. And there are two meanings to that. So the first one is, since Mom Dina is a chef, she owns a restaurant called Diablo's Kitchen. And that restaurant, they literally serve diverse food. Um, a food from a continent, a country, name it, she could serve it. Like one time when they were visiting Hawaii, I cooked dinner for them and I cooked a Filipino dish called sinigang. And the next thing you know, she's serving it in her restaurant. She's cooking and serving it in her restaurant. Um, my favorite food that she serves is Korean pizza. If you know me, you know that I don't really love pizza. Like I could eat them, I won't complain, but this pizza is so good. So if you visit Idaho Falls, make sure that you visit Diablo's Kitchen. Um, try the whole world with the restaurant. And the second meaning of it is she really serves the world. Like Mom Dina is one of the people that I know that is super generous and tries her best to help people in her community and even outside the community that's why i said the world because um whenever my brother and i my brother jayshan and i have a project she always supports it and she tries her best to help our projects so she's not only serving idaho falls but she's serving the entire world and a bonus detail to this painting is this book 665 um, this is just for a laugh because one time when we gave her a sticker that says 665, not evil enough, she laughed and she really liked it. Um, and it is connected to her restaurant too, Diablo's Kitchen. Um, Diabla or Diablo is a Spanish word for devil. So Diabla for female, Diablo for male. Um, but like I said, it's the total opposite because mom dina her family and her staff are the nicest people you will ever meet so happy mother's day mom dina thank you for your example so there you go um my three art projects i hope you like it i hope that the three moms in my life right now love it and happy mother's day to all the moms out there